There's a drama with Serena in the US Open. There was a drama today, with you having all those match points and not winning the second set. I had the match points on her serve, so she's supposed to hold her serve, and um, she's one of the best players in the world, so I didn't think it was drama. Like, we just played a third set. If you consider that drama, then. It was such a warm atmosphere in there, how it felt in there tonight compared to how it felt in Flushing. Yeah, I mean, you're probably asking this question because you already know, like, uh, in New York, most of the crowd was for Serena, and um, here, it felt like they were just, like, it was split a little bit, so, yeah, I mean... Honestly, when I was playing her and I, I heard that the crowd was like for both of us, I was very happy, but at the same time, I, I was just trying to focus on playing the match. It didn't really take that long. I didn't have a choice on how long the break was. I, I don't know, like I just felt like I didn't want to have any regrets. I, I think that if I didn't regroup after the second set, then um, I would have looked back on this match and probably cried or something, so. I didn't expect to see her there, so um, at first I was very shocked and then I wanted to cry a little bit, but I didn't want to cry on this like podium. <laughs> like, yeah, I, was, I was really touched and like I just felt really honored to, I don't know, that she was giving me this trophy. I mean, now I'm just so tired. <laughs> I don't know how anyone is awake right now. Um, maybe the next day I'll think about it more, but for me, I don't know, like I still feel very shocked. Like, I felt like the match wasn't completely done, but it was done, you know? Um, and it's one of those moments where you just, you're fighting so hard, and when it's finally over, you just, you're still in this state of like competitiveness. Emotional when you were walking off after the second set going toward the bathroom? Did you not see my tears? <laughs> Trying to verify. I didn't want to uh, buy that. Yeah, you wanted yes. to give me like a, a little like hope. Yeah, I mean, I forgot to smile. <laughs> I was told to smile and I didn't. I was panicking. Yeah, that was, I'm going to be thinking about that for the rest of today. Um, for me, every practice and every match that I've played, it, it feels like, the year is short and long at the same time, but I, I'm aware of all the work that I put in and um, I know all the sacrifices that every player does to stay at this level. So, I mean, in my opinion, it didn't feel fast. It felt kind of long. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't celebrated yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you guys want to celebrate with me. <laughs> uh, and public speaking. <sighs> Sorry, uh, I don't know, like, I feel like in a way public speaking is some, some sort of talent. Like, I know some people train to be able to be good at it, but then I just don't feel like it lacks, like, the genuine, like, there's something that feels off. So of course I would love to be better at talking, but in the first place I don't even talk normally like in my day to day I I might speak like 10 sentences so <laughs> honestly uh, I, I wouldn't really be that thrilled if I had to practice talking oh uh, it's called win uh, it's by J-Rock and yeah I, I was listening to that because my dad was obnoxiously blasting it during the US Open I just thought maybe I should keep carrying on the trend and it worked, so maybe in the next tournament I play, if I see the number one next to my name, I'll feel something. But for now, I'm more happy that I, I won this trophy, so I, I didn't talk to him. Is that different? Um, I don't know, I just... I, no, like, we haven't really been talking, to be honest, like, before any of my matches here. He would tell me, like, one thing, and then I would be like, okay, and that was it. Feel like a grown-up? Sometimes I do. Um, but I'm not sure if it's feeling grown-up or being able to disassociate my feelings. I don't know if that makes sense. Sometimes... Like, you know how some people get worked up about things? Um, and that's a very human thing to do. Sometimes I, 
I don't know, like, I feel like I don't want to waste my energy doing stuff like that. Like, I think I, I think about this on the court, too. Like, in the third set of my match today, I, I literally just tried to turn off all my feelings. Um, so that's why I wasn't yelling as much in the third set. But I'm not sure if that makes me grown up. I don't think so. I didn't know if um, she was just gonna blast winners and there's nothing that I could have done about it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if she played well today. I, I would have to ask either you or her. And um, I was a robot, sort of, and I was just executing my orders. I don't know. I just did what I've been practicing my whole life in a way and I didn't waste any energy reacting too much. Then when it got towards the end, then I started like realizing the um, how big the situation was. So then I, I think I started like yelling come on again. No, like I just focus on tennis. Like me when I play my match, everything else is completely not in my mind anymore. Curious if you surprised yourself ever. Yes and no. Because, like, I had dreams that I would win this tournament, you know? But every time I have a dream and somehow I accomplish it, I still feel like it's it's a very strange moment. Like, I feel like I'm living right now, but uh, it's not necessarily real. Maybe if I see my sister, you know? I can be like, guess who's the number one tennis player? <laughs> Me, <laughs> you know? Maybe that. Yeah, I just, I feel like I'm going with the flow. That's sort of been my motto my whole life, so.